tonight, another small business in Chattanooga is shutting its doors because of the pandemic. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rowe. Palace Theater temporarily closed their doors, but now they're facing the harsh reality of a permanent closure. Sydney Edwards has a story. Sydney. Josh and Kim, the palace behind me is where it used to be. Just outside of it is construction from the Parkway, excuse me, Patton Parkway. Owner Rose Cox says money became an issue during the COVID-19 shutdown and they were fo forced to close their doors. Now the sign is gone out front and Rose says what's left is just the bones of what it used to be. From construction outside to walking through the front door, the palace looks a bit differently now than it did before COVID-19. This room is where all the magic happens, is where we, what we always say, this is the theater room. Rose Cox says she decorated and constructed the business herself. She calls it a labor of love, a space that fit a black box theater and 80 viewers. Now it's an empty room. I sat in here and cried several times when we were done tearing everything up because it was just not the same. It was a devastating loss, Rose says. The palace was a flexible space that brought together art, film, and creativity in a no judgment zone. Art isn't always accessible to everyone. So we tried to make art accessible for all. That was our goal. That was our motto. Donnie Marsh says there's no place like the palace. He produced the chat talk tonight show from the theater, saying it was the perfect place for someone starting out. The palace theater was unlike anything else, and they gave opportunities to performers and artists in a way that, that no one else uh, really could. Marsh says the palace was full of people that would bend over backwards for you. He says he learned so much in the last few years working with them. Well, you know, there aren't a lot of places in, t you know, anywhere where a small comedian, you know, somebody who's mostly, you know, doing open mics for a few years can get the chance to produce a live show anywhere. Rose hopes whatever the building turns into, it continues to give back to the community. I'm hoping that whatever goes in there next will provide some sort of entertainment value so that we can continue to build culture here in Chattanooga. And if the loss of her small business teaches the community anything, right. she hopes it's how serious COVID-19 really is. Bye, Palace. For Rose, the next step is taking a break. She says after all she's put into the palace and the loss of it, she just wants to relax and enjoy time with family. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Sydney Edwards, News Channel 9. Thank you, Sydney. If you're a small business owner and are in need of due or in need due to the pandemic, go to empowerchat.com slash COVID-19. There you can find more information about small business disaster loan assistance.